All right, so today we are going to be seal coating the driveway. We've gone ahead and picked up this from Home Depot. Um, it is the top of the line one that we could find there. Uh, we had intentions of having people come out to do it, but with labor shortage and everything, we never heard back, reached out, um, but we've only got a few days left before the temperatures get too cold to actually do it properly. So we had some time today what we've gone ahead and done is taped off our uh, patio area so that we don't get anything over that. And then also, same on the apron in front of there. Uh, we've gone ahead and blown everything off a few times. We did run into a wasp nest in there, so we bagged those guys. They're stuck in there. Also, took down our downspout and try not to get stung. And then we went ahead and moved all the stones off of the edge. And we have two or three days now where the temperature will be 70 in the day, about 50 at night. This stuff will actually still cure as low as 40 degrees. So we wanted to make sure we do it this weekend before we run out of uh, warm weather at night. So uh, should be good. We got 10 buckets and uh, should cover everything we need. And if not, we can return the other ones, but you wanna have more so that you don't run out and have any start and stop lines. And we went ahead and flipped all the buckets while we were waiting, let all the stuff from the bottom settle down. And then now that we're ready to go, we'll flip that over, mix it. And roughly halfway through the bucket, I'm gonna open the next bucket and then I will dump that into the first bucket. And that way you're getting everything blending together if any of the buckets are different shades. So you ready to do this? She's got her driveway clothes on, so she's rocking her Napoleon Dynamite boots. We're ready to go. As you can see, we have done the entire driveway and now we are just down at the street and going to brush in that extra bit. All right, so that's gonna wrap up the driveway. We ended up using 14 buckets. Um, they're about five gallons each, just under. Uh, just finished up trimming in the edge, which um, got us down to the street. So everything is now completely covered and uh, just gonna wait for it to dry. It is dry enough to walk on, um, but yeah. So again, this is the stuff we used. Um, it's from Home Depot, worked out super well, super happy with it. So we're gonna clean everything up. Um, we were actually able to save the squeegee brush things um, from previous projects. So those, you just wanna make sure you wash them off really good and you'll be able to reuse those um, every year, every other year, when you go ahead and uh, seal everything. But super happy with how it came out. And uh, yeah, just letting it dry and we'll be good to go. So we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you guys have any questions and uh, I'll try to jump down in the comments and answer them. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.